Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This video is about the Albany Plan. After watching this video, you should be able to describe the Albany Plan and explain why it failed. For the Albany Plan, we need to look at the context. In the mid 18th century, in addition to a number of powerful Indian nations, there were three European colonial powers in North America. They were the British, the French, and the Spanish. This story revolves around the conflict between the British and the French and some of their Indian allies. We need to look at in England's Indian allies, the Iroquois. The Iroquois was not one nation, but actually a confederation of five and eventually six Indian groups. The original five were the Seneca, the Onondaga, the Mohawks, the Cayuga, and the Oneida. Eventually, the Iroquois became frustrated with their English allies because the Indians didn't think that the English were doing enough to stop English settlers from settling on Iroquois territory. And when the English and French began fighting in the Ohio River Valley, the English did not consult with their Indian allies that they were fighting the French on Indian territory. So in 1754, in order to ease tensions between the Indians and the British, the British called a meeting in Albany with representatives from seven colonies. And at that meeting, an Iroquois leader said that the English should do a better job of protecting their interests. Now, some people at this meeting, like Ben Franklin, proposed the Albany Plan. So what was that? What was the Albany Plan? The Albany Plan proposed that the 13 colonies join together under one general government. So this one general government or a grand council of elective officials would do a couple of things. They would um, manage trade, they would manage Indian policy, and they would collect a tax that would be for defending the colonies against the French and the Indians. Now, some people like Ben Franklin really liked the idea, but most colonists didn't. The colonists didn't like the idea because if colonies signed onto the Albany Plan, the colonies would have essentially turned over some of their own power to this new Congress. For example, if the state of New York was regulating some of the Indian trade and then New York went on to sign the Albany Plan, New York might not be able to regulate the Indian trade anymore. Instead, the general colonial government would oversee the trade and the central colonial government might act in ways that New Yorkers might not like. You can see why there might be reluctance to sign on. And in the end, not one colony joined this colonial legislature. And the British weren't too fond of the idea either. Because in the British minds, the British government was in charge of the colonies, not some grand council. However, the Albany Plan does seem to suggest that some powerful people were thinking, what would happen if the colonies started working together? rather than acting as 13 individual players. That idea of unity would have significant implications later on. So now that you've seen this video, you should be able to explain what the Albany plan was and why it didn't work out. Thanks for watching. Here's a joke. What happened when one pickle bumped into another pickle in the jar? They just had to deal with it. I love dill. It's my favorite herb. I would suggest putting it on tuna salad.